Welcome back to East Texas Now. Join with us here live in studio. We have a special guest. Please welcome there. She is Megan Riaz of Bethesda Health Clinic. Megan, thanks so much for joining us here yeah. in East Texas Now. Thank you so much for having me. We're oh. neighbors, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> just down the street. Yeah. This is your first time in, right? It is. Oh, it's a shame. You, you can't be a, uh, a stranger <laughs> any longer. you got to come down and chat with us about all of the things that are going down at the health clinic. Speaking of, there's a big summer bash on uh, yes. the horizon in here. Tell us a little bit about it. Yes, so we're having a summer bash this Friday from 2 to 5. It's actually at our pediatric clinic. So we're neighbors with you here at our adult clinic on Ferguson. We have a pediatric clinic on East Richard Street, kind of between um, Irwin and Front Street. And so we're really just trying to do something fun for the kids to kick off the summer. School was out last week. And we really want to be a part of the neighborhood that we're in. And so it's totally free for the community. We're going to have bounce houses. Our lead pedi pediatrician is going to be grilling hot dogs. <laughs> a little different change of pace yeah, for him. Yeah. Um, we have a petting zoo, face painting. And then we're also going to have some other community resources there with booths to share information to families. Oh, that's fantastic. It sounds like a one-stop shop. You feel like you're uh, taking care of the true big needs, but you also get to take the kids to, to have some fun and enjoy the beginnings of summer. That's amazing. And so you talked about a pediatric clinic. You talked about an adult clinic. So for those that don't know what Bethesda mm -hmm. is, can you give us a little background? Yeah, absolutely. So we are a nonprofit medical, dental, and mental health clinic, and we serve uninsured adults. So uh, working adults ages 18 to 64 with services, and then our pediatric clinic serves kids. They don't have to be uninsured. The majority of our kids are on Medicaid, but we take all Medicaid, cash pay, and then other plans as well. That's fantastic. You said medical, dental, and... Mental health. Mental health. Yes. Wow. Covering a very wide range. Uh, it looks like a fantastic time, right? I'm looking at the invite here. It says hot dogs, like you mentioned. It says snow cones, bounce houses, a petting zoo, and more. A ton of stuff. And uh, it looks like you guys are uh, very aware that you're bilingual. Yes. Yes. We are. We have a lot of Hispanic patients, mm -hmm. and um, we have providers. All of our providers speak Spanish. Our MAs speak Spanish. And so we just want to be able to have all of our resources available to the community. Uh, the neighborhood that we're in over there is a primarily Hispanic neighborhood. And so to meet the needs of the com community, that's why we exist. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's incredible. And a, I feel like it would uh, provide longer reaches, right, to make sure the entire community feels absolutely. like they have the resource of Bethesda. Now, you said that there was a, uh, a couple of partners that were coming out to help setting up booths. Who are they and uh, what do they do f for the community? Yeah, so we have several different groups that are similar to us, nonprofit organizations who provide a service to those who need it. So a few other organizations that are coming are Champions for Children, Literacy Council of Tyler, Mentoring Alliance, WIC, um, and then some other organizations as well. That is incredible. Uh, it really truly is a one-stop shop there. So uh, it starts at 2. When can people plan to stay? How long? It'll end at 5, and we will have uh, lots of parking blocked off around the area. So hopefully that'll be fine. Don Wines, our neighbor, has been so generous to let us use their big parking lot over there. And um, hopefully the weather stays good. We are watching the weather because it is possible that there could be some thunderstorms, but it's also Texas, so as you know, we can never tell. We will keep updating people on our Facebook page in case any changes are made to the schedule. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, I'm a native Texan myself, and I've always heard, if you don't like the weather in Texas, wait five minutes. Exactly. Uh, it's always ever-changing, and so right now, this is the plan, right? And, Correct. you know, right now, we've checked with uh, our GMET meteorologist here, and there's not a first alert weather day as it stands right now for Friday, so I think we might be in the good graces so. for now. <laughs> um, now, you uh, have this entire event. You have, uh, it's come one one come all, whether you are um, currently being um, using the resource of Bethesda or not. Now, is this event more to uh, welcome new people into the community, to let them know that you're there, or uh, just welcome the community as a whole? I think in generally just uh, welcoming the community. So we took over the clinic. It was formerly the St. Paul Children's Medical and Dental Clinics, and we took that over in September of last this past year. And so... The whole existence of St. Paul was to really be a resource for that neighborhood. And so we really want to extend that message 
and that um, identity of the clinic to really be there for the community. Obviously, we can always have new patients, so we do want people to know that we exist, especially for patients. If there's children who do not have Medicaid or they don't have any insurance, we have a really affordable cash fee for patients. We have same day and next day appointments. We have mental health, like I said. We have just a lot of amazing resources there. And so um, I know in the past, some of our patients have had to drive quite a bit of ways to find a provider that takes Medicaid that where they can get all of their kids in. And so we just want people to know that we're here, we're taking new patients and just, we want the kids to have a good time. Absolutely. Yeah. As uh, someone, there's family members that I have that are definitely uh, just kind of maybe in between jobs or maybe they're mm -hmm. working for themselves and haven't acquired that health uh, insurance yet and things of that nature. It is very tricky. You have to get really, really creative and be able to take off the whole day to drive somewhere that takes in. So that's an a invaluable resource that we have right here in East Texas. Now, uh, for someone to attend this Summer Bash event, do they need to sign up? Do they need tickets? Do they just show up? How's it work? Um, they just show up, so come see us Friday. We'll start setting up around 1. The event will kick off at 2, so anytime they want to come, they can come for a little bit, come as long as they want, stay till 5, help clean up, hey, whatever they want to do. <laughs> Roll up your sleeves, ladies and gents. <laughs> I love it. Well, uh, Megan, is there anything that we haven't uh, touched on regarding the event or Bethesda in general that you want East Texas Now viewers to know? Well, all of the information is on our website, so I just encourage anyone, anytime I'm out in the community, if you know someone who can't afford health care, if they don't have health insurance, come check us out, BethesdaClinic.org, all the information, how to become a patient, what the requirements are, how to make an appointment, and it's just a great resource. We don't want anyone to use the emergency room for primary care, and so, like I said, we have same-day, next-day appointments. Come see us and let us take care of you. <laughs> Friday, this Friday, May 31st from 2 to 5 p.m. Free to the public. Just pull up. You don't have to uh, get tickets. You don't have to um, go to any kind of link. You just pull up and have a fantastic time with all of those in your community. Megan, thanks so much for joining Thank us on East so Texas much. Now. Can't be it. a stranger now. Now we know <laughs> where you are. Fantastic. Y'all, from there, we are going to go ahead.